Gloria Latson Billings, the Kellner Family Distinguished Chair in Urban Education at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. My passion has always been in discovering those teachers who are able to be successful, particularly in situations where people doubt that that success can happen. So my specific work has been focused on those teachers who are successful teachers of African-American students. I began studying in 1989 a group of eight amazing teachers who, despite the odds, despite the resources, were able to produce some amazing, astounding results among African American students. I began calling this work culturally relevant pedagogy. And what I was able to distill from uh, working with these teachers is that they have a laser-like focus on three things, student learning, or what we now think of as academic achievement, but not just test scores, but a full range of what uh, young people learn. The second thing they focus on is what I would call cultural competence, not learning do's and don'ts about a specific culture, but fully embracing their own culture while acquiring fluency and facility in at least one other culture. And then the third thing that I saw among these teachers is what I sometimes call the so what factor. That is critical consciousness. We teach kids lots of things, but often students will say, why do I have to learn this? What is this important for? And this critical consciousness is designed to help students say, oh, well now that I can read this, then I can look, read the newspaper article about this. Or now that I can compute this, I now understand why it is that we're spending this kind of money on these kinds of resources in our community. So those three things, academic achievement or student learning, cultural competence, and critical consciousness really form the basis of this notion of culturally relevant pedagogy. It's exciting not only uh, from the standpoint of the teachers I began studying in the late 80s, but that I'm seeing this replicated over and over in classrooms, not only throughout the nation, but around the world. Mm -hmm.